Here you have seen how to represent the knowledge in an artificially intelligent system. Again we will now see how to represent problem in form of knowledge in an artificially intelligent system. The first question is how to represent a problem that should be solved on a computer or by an intelligent agent or a robot or any artificially intelligent agent. After developing the details of the representation technology we can create algorithms that work on this kind of representation. So first, if you are designing any artificially intelligent system, it's very necessary to break down the problems that the system will solve or work on. And that problem needs to be represented in a way that can be easily understood by the computer and it is written in a way, it is represented in a way so that the programs can be written to solve the problem or to achieve the goals. So problem representation is basically a knowledge representation and we can represent it in form of state vectors starting from h1 h2 h and and this could be different features we we would like to work on like color weight size price etc we also need to de define the initial state and the goal state so a system will use or artificially intelligent agent will use sensors to to perceive that what state the system is currently in and based on that state it will have to carry on a route of performing various actions to reach the goal state so the actions which will enable the agent to reach the goal state will be directed by the problem solving or the problem algorithm based on the state which has been perceived so if you understand if you take a simple example there are three jugs and one is full and the other two are empty and if you are making a simple robot which or any artificially agent which will fill any one of the jug four liter and this can be done in two ways one way is to fill the three liter jug full and the five liter jug with one liter and the eight liter jug will contain four liter there is also one more way to do that that is to keep the 3 liter jug empty and keep the 5, five liter jug with 4 liter and there will be the also the 8 liter jug will also have 4 liter so in this way you will have 2 jugs with 4 liter so the way to achieve this can be written in a problem and when the artificially intelligent agent will come across this problem it will or is asked to do the problem it will come across the various solutions and it can select one of the solutions which will enable it to achieve the goals and before such a system is designed the problem has to be solved and it has to be represented and it has to be fed into the system so that the system can act on it so first you will have to define the different goals that is A1, A2, A3 are the different goal states that you want to achieve and the set of operators what function do we want you want to pour from jug i to jug j also while defining the problem you'll have to consider certain precondition for example jug i is not empty and jug j is not filled and you will have to define a certain benchmark or a function to apply define what state a1 a2 a3 does the operator pour i j i to j to create from state a1 a2 a3 so that is the initial state and the final state and when the maximum in j minus a j equal to can be poured to j so that is the amount which can be poured to j the maximum j is 4 and if the amount in a jug is 2 liter or 2 then the amount that can be poured is 2 liter so such kind of conditions you will have to consider while designing the problem and once this problem is designed it will look something like this the this is just one of the way to represent the problem and it has been represented using the knowledge, rep knowledge representation of using semantic graphs. So this is a graph which can be broken down into a tree form. So the nodes in the green, the green circle are the goal state. So there are different intermediate states which the system will have to go through while achieving the goal and there are different ways to achieve the goal so if you you can add a heuristic function to this whole problem solving method where you can differentiate different ways or actions to to achieve the goal with a function of efficiency or cost 
or which method is more efficient. Such kind of function can be added using the heuristic and it can make the problem solving method less time consuming and more efficient. That's all. If you like this video, please do subscribe, like and comment. Also do watch other videos in the series to learn more.